So here we have an open project with VR mode enabled <clears throat> so we can see our headset view below. This is a simple 360 video. We place the video on a sphere and a camera in the middle. So let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, dinosaur. Nice dinosaur, Natalie. Thank you. <laughs> this is obviously a CG object. Uh, with Unity, you can do compositing and visual effects, but in real time and for VR. And if we look up, these birds are also CG objects. And you may notice that some of these guys are actually flying behind the gazebo, but in front of the sky. Even though we're playing a video, we can occlude or hide objects. This adds a subtle but powerful touch of immersion. Um, I, I want to make sure everyone in the room is getting this. That gazebo is not a CG object we placed in the foreground. Right. Right? Right. It's two layers of video playing simultaneously. So if we look inside, we have a second, smaller sphere. Notice how you can see the gazebo, but the rest is transparent. This inner sphere has a shader, custom built for this demo, called Alpha Mask. It's blocking everything but the foreground. I'll swap languages here and say it another way. Over here on the right, this is the mat, or alpha, and we've keyed in the birds. So between these two layers is where all our CG objects can hang out and have a good time. This is the illusion. It's a fast, inexpensive cinematic trick. I'm, I'm just sure there are filmmakers in the audience who are dying to get their hands on this to try stuff like that, because that's actually from film, that technique. That's amazing. Yeah. Let's take one more look at the environment we've created. So you can see we put text here as navigation markers so that we can travel around. This is gaze-based locomotion. So if you can see this little red dot here, that's the center of where I'm looking in my headset. This is what VR is all about, feeling like you're there. So let's go ahead and stare in this direction to take us closer to the water. All right. So this has triggered a different video to play on, on the same sphere, but we feel like we've moved. Very sneaky. Finally, the best part. I want to show the power of real-time rendering. If I decide I want to add some more birds, maybe for a little bit of an Alfred Hitchcock effect, all I have to do is select the birds and scroll up the slider, and it's instant. And then, OK, I'm getting a little creeped out. I'm going to bring it back down again. And if you stare at the sun, you'll see that the birds disappear when they fly across it, just like they would to the human eye. A video alone can't do that. But in Unity, we can. And it's super simple. We placed a light source outside the sphere, right behind where the sun is in the video. And that's the magic effect. And now we have super cool J.J. Abrams lens flares. So that's it. Two layers, CG objects, interactivity, locomotion, and light. These are just a few small ways to make a regular 360 video interactive and immersive. And that's what everybody really wants. It's so cool. Thank you so much, Nat.